I want no downtime at all for release update. And there's only one way to do that. You avoid downtime with rug rolling patching. So how does this look like? We have the application, the users, and they're connected to the instances on each of the nodes in our cluster. Now, in each of the cluster nodes, we have an Oracle home. And of course, on the bottom of the slide, we have the database. So the idea is this database should be kept up and running all the time. So what do we do? Again, same thing. And here we can use Opatch Auto, which is sort of a uh, orchestrated Opatch way. Uh, I clone my Oracle Home. I provide a new Oracle Home, whatever I prefer. And then I run Opatch Auto. So it patches now node by node. The instances get patched. But the database still remains up and running while that happens. No interruption. The interruption will come now node by node. So a node will be drained. That means the user connect via the scan listener to the next instance and so on. So it goes round robin through all the nodes and drains and then reconnects the connections on the next node. So it moves home by home by home. And once this is done, Opatch at the end, and we had a change coming for that two years ago, I think, Opatch now executes data patch only on the last node and doesn't attempt to patch with data patch on every node after changing to the new home. So this is a good way. The database is up and running all the time. And there are a few things which yeah, we should talk about. A few best practices. So if you have a problem draining the node, draining your application, then patch node by node or patch in groups. Like if you have a four node cluster, build two groups of two each and then patch in groups. Patch the standby cluster first would also be a good idea. So in this case, you uh, we call it a premium protection actually. You know when you use it on a standby, all is good, it works fine. And it allows you the full testing on the standby cluster for functionality and also for the rollback. So you combine really the two best pieces. You have a production rock cluster, you have a standby rock cluster, that's ideal. Then please execute data patch immediately after the last node has been patched. This applies when you don't use Opatch Auto, when you do it by yourself. When you do it manually, then um, make sure you don't delay it. And execute has to be repeated, execute data patch on one node only. Not on every node, please. And now something which is really, really important and sometimes also leads to misunderstanding. Because in the old releases, we told you the grid infrastructure has to be always the highest version in the entire cluster. Now with the new release numbering scheme since 18C, the question came up so many times, uh, can I combine like 1914 grid infrastructure and 1916 database home? Yes, you can. The most node is pretty clear on that. The patch level can be different. It can be. But ideally, you keep all in sync because this is what we test. When we release 1919, we don't go in and now try 1919 grid infrastructure with 1914 database and 1915 and 1916 and so on. We test 1919 GI with 1919 database. And this is what we highly recommend to you. Even though we know that some of you patch the database home more often than the GI home. So sometimes the GI home hangs a bit back. But in an ideal scenario, you please keep them in sync. So you can have these com combinations like 1914 GI, 1916 database, or the other way around, 1918 GI, 1914 database. You could also have grid infrastructure 1914 on node number one and GI home 1917 on node number two. And the same for the database, but please don't do that. I will tell you in a minute why you should not do this. You could also say, let me patch node one on Monday, node two on Tuesday, node three on Wednesday, and node four on Thursday and Friday. Happily, we are ready for the weekend. Don't do this, please. I come to this point as well. 
you can operate a cluster with different Oracle versions of either GI or database on each node. It's technically possible, but you should not do that. And the question is, can I delay patching or omit patching to a subset of instances or nodes? So can I do that? What I showed you on the slide before, can I have a node 1, 1914 and a node 2, 1917? And even though it's technically possible, we say don't. Don't have that. All patching operations should be completed on a real application cluster environment as quickly as possible. You should not delay that. You should not have these mixed combinations. When applying patches to a GI environment or a database home, these patches must be made effective as soon as possible. And don't run it longer than for 24 hours in a mixed environment. And I don't feel very well if you tell me we are doing this for exactly 24 hours. Go note by note, straightforward, like crossing the street. You don't go just five meters into the street and then you wait for a car hitting you. That is very unlikely. And don't do this with your cluster. Rolling patching of rock clusters with the draining of connections is a recommended and well-tested process. This is what we do when we operate rock clusters and we operate a lot of those. You can run with mixed patch levels, but be aware, this brings risk and we never test this. It's less robust, don't try it. And running with a mix of patches across a cluster for an extended time, which for instance would be multiple hours or a day or longer, this really exposes the entire situation to unexpected corner cases, something we had not tested. It may also be, have an effect on scalability, on the even the availability. So, and in worst case, some functionality, maybe not working as expected or being restricted in that situation. So don't do this. When you patch with a delay, some cluster features may operate with limitations and also some ASM operations may be limited or simply not even there. So we strongly, and this is why it's marked in red here, we strongly recommend that you patch as quickly as possible. In a future version of GI, we may lift one or the other restrictions we have these days, but please patch as quickly as possible. And as I said before, release updates are always standby first and always rack rolling. 